Hello guys and welcome back. In this session we're going to look at scope identity and at at scope. Okay, I'll just uh, tell you what they are then we'll just do an exercise on them. Okay, uh, scope identity, okay, what will that do? It will uh, returns the last identity value inserted into the identity column, okay, in the same scope. Okay, where at at identity is not limited to a specific scope, it will put the same session. Okay, so I'm sure you're wondering what all that means. Okay, the uh, best way to sort this out is do it with an exercise. Okay, and let's uh, do it here. So you can see here I'm using the last table I used in the last exercise, select all from friends, I'll just execute that, that's there. I'm gonna, I've created another table here um, uh, called friends2. Okay, paste that in, two. Okay, and you can see it here. It just has an identity column. Okay, and uh, a, var a var jar name. Just uh, okay. So let's uh, execute the two of these together. Okay, and look at those. Okay, just have an issue there with one. Let me just check that. Okay, uh, friend. Okay, I see it there. Yeah, I call this friend two rather than friends. Okay, let's just execute them again. Typing and talking. Okay, okay. Uh, so here's my first uh, 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 database. Again, you can see the identity field is called friend ID. Okay, we have the name, gender, and city. And here I have the second table. I have nothing in it yet. I have an ID and a name. I just want to be. I just have two tables in order to illustrate the exercise of scope identity. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do an insert command. Uh, to start us off here. So I want to insert. Okay, uh, into. Okay, uh, table. There we go. Uh, friends. Okay, uh, I'm going to put one of the values. Okay, and the values I want to insert are just again. Remember, in friend ID here, that's an auto incrementing field, so therefore there's no need for me to put any value here. Okay, so I can just put a name. Okay, which will I'll just say uh, Paul. Okay, uh, name. Okay, the gender, uh, male. Okay, uh, Okay, and we can say that Paul is from Dublin. Okay, so there's three values. Okay, so if I uh, execute uh, this here, okay, execute that. Okay, you can see uh, one row affected. Okay, one row. let's let's uh, actually look at uh, uh, these two again. Okay, and execute uh, that. Okay, uh, sorry, I just have to delete something here because I had something earlier on. Let me... Okay, sorry guys, let me just do that again. I had a trigger created. Uh, so let's uh, insert into, let's uh, execute this. So again, you can see one row is affected in the, uh, uh, in the because in table friends. So let's execute uh, these two now to see where we are. And you can see there that Paul has been added. Okay, don't worry about it being 24 there. That's actually good for this exercise because I deleted out a few exercises uh, in there. Uh, and again, but there's nothing in my uh, friends 2 table here. Okay, uh, so uh, let's look at a scope identity first. Okay, uh, so if I were to, okay, uh, uh, insert this command, uh, uh, select, okay, uh, scope, Scope identity, okay. Oops, okay. Scope identity, okay. What will scope identity do? It will return the last value, okay, uh, in the current scope, okay. Uh, sorry, the current session and in the same scope, okay. So let me uh, just execute this now. So what it should execute, uh, should return, would be the uh, value here, twenty-four, inside the ID column here. So let's execute this, and you can see there that's exactly what it does. Okay, let's um, let's uh, beef this up a bit. Okay, I'll just uh, uh, what we'll do now is uh, what I'm going to do is create a trigger. Okay, uh, that trigger, okay, will insert something into another field. 
okay, when this is executed, okay? Now, again, triggers can be a little bit dangerous, okay? Uh, but, uh, again, I'm, I'm using it just to show uh, how this will work, okay? So, I'm going to create uh, a, a trigger, okay? And um, I'm just going to give it a name, uh, TR, okay? And um, it will be on... Okay, uh, it'll be on uh, Table Friends. Okay, uh, this one here, TBL, TBL, uh, Friends. Okay, and uh, for insert. Okay, so for insert. Okay, so what's, uh, what's going to happen with this trigger is, okay, uh, it's when something happens on um, uh, on table friends, okay, this an insert happens on table friends, it's going to activate something here. Okay, so uh, again, uh, this is how you write a trigger as again, begin, okay, and end. Okay, uh, so what do we want to happen when uh, something is inserted on uh, table friends? Okay, what we're going to do is insert. Okay, insert uh, into uh, TBL, okay, uh, friends2, uh, friends2, okay, uh, values, okay, uh, values, okay, um, is there okay again if we look at just to execute this again okay um, again there's my table one table two so what's going to happen is when this is triggered or, or when this uh, one is fired it's going to it, it, it is an insert okay it's going to activate this trigger okay and this trigger will then insert into table for uh, tbl friends 2 the values now again i only id auto incrementing and i have uh, uh, a name field there, so I'll just put in my own name here. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, let's uh, save this trigger. Uh, okay, command uh, inserted uh, successfully. Okay, so again, when this is inserted, okay, uh, this is going to happen. Okay, so let me just insert this again, so I'll execute this command again. Okay, and now you can see that two rows have been affected. Okay, uh, the row uh, one, okay, uh, and the first row, uh, the, sorry, the next row on that table, which will be 25, and the first row on this one. So let's select the two tables now, uh, and have a look at them. And you can see there, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, 25, record 25 there in table one. Uh, uh, it's inserted that, which triggered this being uh, inserted into table two. Okay, so let's now run scope identity. Will we get 25 or 1? Now remember, if we just take it, well, this happened, and then this happened. Okay, so the last identity actually set in was this one here. Okay, uh, so let's uh, run scope identity. Okay, and execute, and you can see there it's bringing up 25. Okay, well, why is it bringing up 25? Again, because the scope identity is this particular scope here. Uh, if we, um, the whole thing is the session. So if you, if you take it there that, um, that uh, every time we connect to the database, okay, and then we close the connection. So in that connection session, okay, and here inside of that session, okay, I have a scope, and that scope was inserted into. So scope identity is only going to return the last value inserted into an identity field of the same scope. So this is the scope here. This is a different scope. The trigger is a different scope. Okay, so if I were to, so what happens if I want to see the last identity into an identity field uh, within the same session, but of uh, any, uh, any scope, okay? Any table or any scope. Okay, what I can do is select, okay, at at scope, or at at. Okay, let's, uh, um, uh, sorry, add, add identity. 
Okay, at, at identity. Okay, so now let me uh, run this command. Okay, so if I run this command and execute that, okay, you can see there it's returning the value one, which is the va the for the the of the table of the on friends two. So let me just uh, execute that. Uh, execute this again. Okay, so it's twenty five, and on this table one. So it took the last identity entered. Okay on any uh, scope within the same session or any table in the same session. Okay, let's uh, let's just execute this again. Uh, execute this. Okay, one row, one row affected. And uh, let me execute these two together. Okay, execute. So you can see there, uh, scope identity is returning 26 and add add scope is returning two. So again, scope identity is just returning uh, in this particular scope here, whereas at that scope was returning in any, in any uh, table uh, in the same session, or any scope in the same session. Okay, uh, we'll do a couple of more exercises on this, um, uh, and we'll see it in action as we're working. Again, uh, just a quick uh, thing, don't be too quick to create triggers. Uh, again, the only reason I use it trigger here was to illustrate okay the uh, these two uh, working okay thank you for your attention